hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a what i eat in a day it is full-on fall right now so what i'm eating is a little bit different i'm craving a lot of like warm soups and curries and just more like comforting foods so i'm going to show you guys some of my current favorite recipes we will also be baking today i'm going to show you guys how i make some really healthy and delicious cookies um you can also make them quite fall inspired just depending on the spice that you use but they are really really delicious so I'm gonna show you guys how I make those and so far this morning I've already had my lemon water of course you guys probably know I love that first thing in the morning it really wakes my whole body up and it just makes me feel nice and clean and it's a really great way to start the day so I've had that and now I'm ready for some breakfast okay so for breakfast I'm really loving my veggies and eggs again I'm back on this breakfast. I like to do about half an avocado and then the veggies, they do change depending on what I have in my fridge. But zucchini is always really great. I love red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Some red onion for flavor is so delicious. And then I'm also gonna add in some spinach at the end and it wilts and just blends in perfectly with all the other veggies. It's a great way to get in some greens as well. up breakfast and I'm now going to make myself a matcha latte. I absolutely love matcha lattes, especially now when it's a little bit colder as well. They're nice and warming. But first I'm going to prepare a new batch of almond milk and you guys probably know I love to make my almond milk at home. I used to use a nut milk bag so I would blend the almonds and water in my blender and then I would squeeze out the milk. But I recently got an almond cow. If you guys don't know what this is, it is literally one of the best kitchen tools ever i'm so obsessed with this and it makes making almond milk so much easier or you can make any type of milk in this little machine you can make cashew milk oat milk so you literally just put in the ingredients and you press this button over here and it takes less than one minute to make your milk it is so cool and the fact that you just don't have to strain and get all messy with the nut milk bag when you are making your milk it is just such a game changer and i just wish i had this sooner but now that I have it I use it several times per week and I absolutely love it so I'm going to show you guys how I use this something that's really great about making your almond milk at home is that it's going to be a lot healthier than what you get at stores because it's fresher of course and you can see exactly what goes into it you're not going to be putting any fillers inside or stabilizers or preservatives you are making fresh milk making your own almond milk at home is incredibly sustainable as well because you are not buying the cartons of milk. I believe one of these prevents at least 500 milk cartons from ever reaching the landfills and oceans. Plus it's also very convenient since you don't have to go and run to the store to get milk. Plus you're also saving a lot of money in the long run. And you can get really creative with the milk that you want to make. Again, you can make almond milk, cashew milk, oat milk. And what I think is so cool is that you can save the pulp that you get from the strainer and you can use it in 
your baking or you can even eat it as a meal you could put like fruit on top or some honey but we will be making some really healthy cookies today with that pulp so i'm really excited to show you guys that i made them last week and they were so good i did reach out to them and see if they could offer you guys some type of discount and they were able to offer 15 dollars off so if you use the code annie 15 at checkout that will get you 15 dollars off your almond cow purchase so i will have the information for this down below and also a link to this machine okay so this is the machine you've got the lower part which is the base and then you just lift off the top part like that here is the blender part so i'm just going to set this to the side also have a strainer that comes with it so here is where you're going to put your nuts it also comes with a little stand like this that you can just pop it in as you're preparing your ingredients. And here I've got my almonds. I'm going to fill this up to the one cup line. I am then also going to pop in one date for some sweetness. Just make sure that you remove the pit inside. And I'm also gonna add in some vanilla as well. This makes it taste so good. So we've got all of our ingredients ready. Now I'm going to take this top part, just kind of move the nuts to the side and then twist to close. Now it's nice and secure. And I'm just gonna fill this up with some water. And then attach the power cord. And then just press this cow and it will literally make you fresh almond milk in less than a minute. So check this out. That is literally so quick and so convenient. You can see the milk is really nice and creamy. It even has like a little bit of a frothy, foamy top. I'm now going to make myself my matcha latte and then we're going to be baking with the almond pulp. That is so nice and really creamy and I love that we just made that in like less than a minute and it's all homemade. Okay, so to make the cookies, this is so easy and so simple as well. We've got the almond pulp and then we'll need one cup of unsweetened shredded coconut and then some oats. We're also gonna need some maple syrup, some vanilla, cinnamon, and one egg, but you can also use a chia egg if you wanna make this completely plant-based. I will leave instructions for how to make that in the description box along with the ingredients and the steps for these cookies and of course everything else that I show in this video. So I'm first gonna add in the coconut, then I'm gonna take my almond pulp and I'm just going to mix it around a little bit more just to get a bit more of the milk out and then add that to the bowl. A little sip of my matcha. Mm. Then we need one third of a cup of maple syrup then one teaspoon of vanilla. You can also use vanilla essence if you have that. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. One egg. And then about half a cup of oats. You can also add chocolate chips to this if you want to, or you can add pumpkin spice. We just don't have any of those at home right now, but that's something that you can definitely do. Okay, so our cookie dough is ready. It looks so good. I'm now going to scoop out some with a spoon and form little balls. Make sure that your hands are clean and put them on this baking tray and then they're gonna go into the oven. All right, our cookies are done. The best thing about making cookies is of course the cookies, but also the whole apartment smells so good, right? It's like better than any candle You know what ever. they say? Let's taste. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The coconut in there mm. is so delicious. And the cinnamon. But what? But and the almonds. 
Mm. How do you prepare them? What did you put in? Almond pulp and then oats, mm. maple syrup, cinnamon, vanilla, and that's it. And an egg. Love it. So good. Mm. This is my outfit of the day today. We have a few errands to run and we're probably gonna get lunch outside. And this is what I'm wearing. So I've got on this white puffer jacket from Febletics. My top is from Joa Brown. I'm wearing that with my Misoma necklaces. My jeans are old from Mango. Got my Ugg boots, super comfy. And Mo's ready to. <laughs> place called Bite Delight and we both got some soup. I normally actually get this one. This is their tomato basil soup. It is so delicious but they also had a seasonal pumpkin soup with coconut milk so I'm gonna try this one today. It looks really good as well. Mm. That is really nice. I did recently make a pumpkin soup and I shared the recipe in a few videos back. I will make sure to have that video below if you guys want to try my version. But this is pretty good too. Okay, so it has now been a few hours and I'm getting ready to make us some dinner. I want to make us a nice kind of Indian inspired veggie curry and I'm going to be putting in some cauliflower, red bell pepper, a zucchini, and then I'm gonna to top it with some fresh cilantro. I'm also gonna put in an onion, three cloves of garlic, and about that much ginger. That's like a thumb size. And then we also have some coconut milk here, some chopped tomatoes, and the curry powder. So it's really simple as always. <laughs> it's going to be really delicious and warming and filling. We are also gonna have that with some brown basmati rice on the side. And I've already put in about a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. So I'm first going to fry up the onions, the garlic and ginger. is pretty much done. I've just thrown a whole bunch of spinach on top and I'm just gonna press this down. So you basically just wanna cook the curry until the veggies are tender, like so. It takes about like 15, 20 minutes, so it's actually really quick. smells so incredible you guys I already tasted it and it is so good I would highly highly recommend this and of course you can use all different types of veggies for this you could use mushrooms even eggplant broccoli um, whatever you like
we are now going to chill out on the couch. I'm gonna enjoy my cookies, my tea. We're gonna watch Emily in Paris. I've been absolutely obsessed with that show. It's on Netflix. Let me know if you guys have seen it as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and found some good inspiration for healthy recipes. As always, I'll make sure to have all of the recipes below in the description box if you guys wanna make them as well. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.